Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to answer a question that Justin had in the Ninja Hackers group, and he wanted to know how you could change the functionality in ClickFunnels 2.0 so that the uh, navigation element would not just pop in under 770 pixels, which is the native setting in there, but he could actually have it set at any pixel width. In his case, he said a thousand pixels. I would even say maybe a thousand twenty-four, which is where, which would then cover a an iPad. You can even say eleven hundred pixels. Once you get down to eleven hundred pixels, that then the hamburger bun icon will pop in in the navigation instead of seeing the navigation type you see on the screen here. So how this would work, and right down here in the bottom right hand corner there you're going to see a little bug pop up as soon as I start moving the page that is a Chrome extension called viewport dimensions and I really love this tool because it's the simplest way to look at what you have for your viewport width so as I bring this down in size we're going to bring it down here and I have this breakpoint set at 1000 pixels and you see there right as I cross a thousand we're a thousand and one right here and we go down 999 boom there turns into the hamburger bun and now went back up so you see here i put the word mobile in the mobile version and as we pull this out we got desktop in the desktop version because there are actually two different navigation elements on this page so let me show you how to get this set up and then the little bit of css code you need to fire it and so on the page here we have right now we have a desktop navigation element and a mobile navigation element but I will turn let me see we got the mobile navigation shows for all oh that's right okay both of them we're going to leave set to all it was a couple days ago that I built this so I kind of forgot what I all had in here so both of them you're going to see are set to all so we're not saying set one to mobile and one to desktop because if we set one to mobile it'll only show at 770 pixels now that i say that and i think about it we might be able to override that but that's not quite how i built this and i think this is the simplest way to do it so what we're going to do with each of these elements is so here's the desktop version so we're just going to come in here and we're going to click on this and a couple things we are going to set first off in this top item here i just put in the word desktop just so we could easily see on the screen which one we were looking at and then I came down here and I said collapse never. So we're just going to have here collapse never. So that means that no matter what the width is on the screen, it's not going to collapse down and show the hamburger bun icon on the screen. So we're going to set that one to never. We're going to float it to the left. You can float it however you want. Set everything else up in here exactly how you want it for your uh, for your display up here for your navigation then a couple other things we're going to do is in order to get this in here where it says desktop navigation that is just simply the name of the element that you're going to use to be able to find it for the most part in the layout here but I like to do this whenever I am setting a data attribute or any kind of attribute on an element I also like to make these uh, this uh, this name here for it I like to make that matching so I know that's what I did so again we're going to come back into the element we're going to come up to our code we're going to come down here and I guess they're just calling it down here a title for this so I said desktop navigation is the title for this element again it has nothing to do with anything to do with coding it only has to do with actually seeing it in the editor here yourself so you always want to click on update after you do that and then we're going to go back into the element again we're going to click here on advanced we're going to come down here and we're going to add a custom attribute and in this case here i'll open this up to edit it we're going to use data title as the um as the attribute name and then the value is going to be desktop navigation which is exactly the same as the title that we set in the code itself and then of course we are going to save this so we got data title equals desktop navigation now so for the second one that we put in here we got our mobile navigation obviously we did exactly the same thing we came in here we gave it a title of mobile navigation so we can more easily find it in our layout we got our mobile navigation here I changed the words to mobile just for our sake to see what we have on the screen and then down here is the important part on collapse 
or the collapse down here, we want it to set to always. So no matter what the width is on the screen, it will always just show us the hamburger bun. Because if we had this set to mobile, it would pick up the 770 mobile breakpoint and only show us the hamburger bun 770 and below. But we want it to be all the time that we're going to show up because we're going to have the desktop version and we're going to have the mobile version. And in this case here at 1000, we're going to hide the desktop version. We're going to show the mobile version and above 1000 pixels, it's going to be the other way around. We're going to show the desktop and hide the mobile. That's how we're going to do this. So on the desktop, you set to never and on the mobile, you set to always. So we have that, and I think that is it as far as the setup on the elements. So let's go into our code, and let us just click on this and open it up. So we can see what we have on the screen here, and it couldn't be any more simple. We have two what are known as media queries, and all we're saying is that what media query is looking at in this case here is the viewport width. So as the viewport width gets smaller and smaller, we want it to do different things. And in our case here, we have a breakpoint of a thousand pixels. So what we're saying here is that a minimum width, so everything a thousand and above, minimum width of 1000 pixels, the desktop navigation, we want to display block, which means to show it onto the page, and the mobile navigation, we want to display none, which means hide it from the page. Okay, so this here is a thousand pixels and above. Down here we say max width of 999, so 999 and below. We want to do the exact opposite that we did up on top. We got our desktop navigation to display none or hide it from the page. And the mobile navigation, we want that to display block, which means to show it on the page. So at that breakpoint right there, between 1000 and 999, it's going to swap them out. Is what it's going to do is you go back and forth, it just swaps out the elements, but they're both in exactly the same place on the page. And you wouldn't really be able to tell if they were off a little bit anyway, just simply because they look so totally different and, and the page completely changes. So that is it. This is it for the entirety of the code right there. Just some simple media queries. And the biggest part is make sure you get everything set up properly in here. We want, I mean, the main parts are either set it to never for desktop, always for mobile, and then make sure you come in and you create your, your data attributes in here so that you have the ability to identify it with the CSS code and tell it what you want it to do. So that's it for this training. If you got any questions, just let me know.